Oh, I'm dead. Good evening, or good day, it all depends, and welcome back to the Impossible Iron Man channel. Today I have for you the long-awaited Signature Loadouts Episode 4, featuring the one and only Springfield Queen, Just Bree. As her popular nickname suggests, she uses a Springfield as her primary, and a Caldwell Pax as the secondary. Now, the ammo type usage varies a bit. Typically, there's always at least half standard rounds for wall bangs. The rest of it, it fluctuates from what I've seen on stream and on YouTube. Uh, personally, I went with half dum dum and dum dum on the packs purely as a personal preference, but like I said, I've seen all standard, I've seen some dum-dum usage, it, it varies. For tools, we have the standard knife, med kits of course, choke bombs, and a rather unique choice in fusees. Now, more on that in just a moment. For the consumable setup, we have double vit and double stam, both full size of course, and while the all shots consumable setup isn't uncommon, Usually you see like a regen thrown in there in place of one of the stems of the vits and occasionally sometimes people will use antidote if they're concerned about something like poison concertina mines. However, the reason we're seeing double stam here is that she uses one at the beginning of the match to get through to the objective quicker uh, full speed map movement if you will and saves the second one for when a fight breaks out for full speed rotations. The second vit shot is there because if you look at this loadout, it's fairly bare bones. There's no there's no bag of tricks here. Um, no mines, no throwables. Usually any throwables used are gained through things like pack mule, things of that nature. So you really need the extra meds on this loadout, especially for prolonged fights. Now, back on the subject of the few Cs, because I know this is going to raise quite a few eyebrows. It's not something I typically use on my loadouts either, but that being said, they have a surprising number of uses, if you think about it. They can be used for stubborn AI types like Concertina Armoreds or Hives, and it's a nice quiet method of dealing with them as opposed to having to bring a silencer or spending trait points on Silent Killer especially if you're not confident with things like throwing knives or throwing axes taking the place of your knife. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's quiet, but there's a big glowing ball <laughs> there for everyone to see. Well, if you use Dauntless, you can actually put out the flares manually. So, if you're really that concerned about... Uh, highlighting your position, if you will, this is a way to deal with that. Now, they can also be used to instantly detonate barrels, save the B-barrel, of course, uh, light oil puddles on fire, help give yourself some cover, or alter the terrain against your opponents. They can be thrown in through windows, especially if you're sieging a boss layer, that way you can see better if someone peeks you at a window or tries to crack peek you. Uh, they can also be used in a weird offensive sort of way if you're fighting in close quarters, uh, especially indoors in a compound. You can throw a bunch of these around and it creates sort of a prolonged flashbang effect. The glare makes it really hard to aim when there's a lot of them around. So keep that in mind uh, if you are want to scoff at the use of the few Cs, but they can be used for a lot of things, so don't don't write them off right away. Now, one thing I will say about this before going into the clip is that this loadout really challenged me mechanically, and I think I learned quite a bit using it. I'll elaborate more on this at the end of the clip and kind of give my closing thoughts on this loadout, but until then, enjoy the clip. I get the sneaking suspicion that we are about to be surrounded. There's someone here. That soul trap's gone off. Mr. 
mysteriously turned off. Someone just threw in a hive bomb. They threw it from below. Hit him. It's a black coat. Watch out. The cross Ooh, exploding explosive. crossbow. Okay. Throwing. He's close. Yeah. They're upstairs. Hit the prescient on this side. Oh, I'm dead. Got one. Got one. On me. Coming. He's on me. I'm gonna die. Got him. He left. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab our bounty before someone snakes it. They're all over here. He's staring. The other team is chasing him. Only one left. Uh, let's deal with him then. You with me? Yep. Hit him. Got him. He's dead. Dan again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I got it. I'm out of sight. Oh, there's one. There's chat. one. One right here. South. South. How far? Very close. Other side of the fence, directly. At least he was when I scanned. Farther back now. Okay, you know what? Before I do this, I'm going to loot that uh, guy up here. I'm going to go around, though. Out uh, here. Okay. 
I see. Let's get him. To my right. A southeast. He's over here. Centennial. Bleeding. I don't see him. Where's his last known? Got him. Okay, there's still more people, so let's get going. There's more? I heard a trap go off somewhere. Uh, he threw a concertina bomb. On accident, I think. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. There's a dead body here. Ew, it's crag time, baby. This loadout really put my mechanical skills to the test. I'm really used to having things like mines or bringing frag grenades or even ammo boxes, depending on what I'm using. But this one is pure and simple. You rely entirely on your aim, your game sense, your positioning, and working with your teammates. And it, uh, it was a real challenge to get this clip, I have to say. But... I think I've improved significantly using it, and I've also kind of gotten better at gauging my positioning in prolonged fights, utilizing it, especially because the Springfield, while it hits hard, doesn't quite have the umph of the sparks, so you're not going to kill someone if they have so much as stubbed their toe already, so there's not as much breathing room as something like a Sparks would give you, uh, nor the penetration power of long ammo in that instance. So nonetheless, I still had fun doing it. I really enjoyed the challenge, and I think I'm a better player for it. Uh, is it something that I will be using more regularly? No, probably not. I have my comfort picks, but I really enjoyed going about making the video and improving my my overall mechanical skill with it so if you're looking for a challenge and looking to improve your aim things of that nature give this loadout a try and see how you fare otherwise i have more stuff on the way as i mentioned in my youtube community posts i'm trying to stay away from things that are simply pure highlights uh, I'd like to have some theme behind them, whether it be signature loadouts, players won't teach it, uh, maybe some kind of general tips or a discussion-based video. Uh, the next video I upload will probably be discussion about the pacts and kind of starting a discussion on how they're going to affect the game going forward post-event and how some of those things might stick around. So look forward to that. Uh, otherwise, uh, be sure to check out Just Breeze channels, which I'll have in the description below. And my partner in crime in this game, as always, is Zen02, whose link I will also have in the description below. So please check him out when you're done here. But until next time, good hunting in the bayou, everyone, and I will see you all on the next one.